Hey everybody, let's learn how to press from the very beginning strict press all the way up to the classic Olympic press, which you're probably gonna suck at, but you're gonna do well on the beginning stuff. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about the press. And we're gonna take our viewers all the way from the most basic strict press all the way to the Olympic press. And this is really our Olympic press video, but I wanna show the progression of the press on how we get to an Olympic press. You don't know how to Olympic press. Nobody's really ever taught you how to do the Olympic press. I'm gonna try, we'll see how it works. <laughs> she ain't the greatest athlete. <laughs> and we're gonna learn how to do the press. But first let's show what an actual strict press is. So when somebody comes into the gym and they've never pressed before, uh, I will often teach them, most of the time, I'll teach them just a basic strict press military press, overhead press, whatever you want to call it. It's just strict, that's the idea. I don't really care what you call it. I pretty much just call it the press or the strict press. So what you're gonna do there is you're gonna take a close grip, closer than you think you should. Maybe index fingers might even be on the smooth. That's right. Bar is gonna be in the bottom of the palm of your hand, so it's gonna be close grip, wrist straight, elbows forward. So throw your elbows forward, elbows are gonna be close together, stand up tall. You have very vertical forearms here. Step back just a little bit. Right there, that looks fine. Nice deep breath in your belly. You're not gonna move anything in here. Hips aren't gonna move, belly's not gonna move. You're just gonna press straight up overhead and you're gonna shrug at the top and bring it right back down. That's good. You're gonna keep it as close to your face as you can. The aiming point on the way up and the way down is your nose. One more time. And that is a strict press. And down and walk it in, touch the uprights. The second step in the progression of the press is the press 2.0. The press 1.0 is the strict press. The press 2.0 adds the hip movement. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay really, really tight on the press. We're gonna lock our quads, lock our knees, and we're just gonna push our hips forward. And when our hips go forward, the bar is gonna come down. I don't wanna worry about my shoulders going back and forth. As my hips go forward, the bar and my shoulders stay over my midfoot and they get lower and then it fires up. And so it sort of is like compressing a spring and then boing, it pops back up and it helps throw the bar off your shoulders to complete the rep. So let's show that. Press 2.0. Elbows forward and in just a tad. Slow, but like big hips forward bar goes down and up, just like that. Bring it back down, take a breath, hips forward, bar goes down and up. That's the press 2.0, let's do one more. Good, and down. When we program the press, we almost always start by programming it in a basic novice linear progression for three sets of five. Once they get proficient in the strict press, we add the hip movement, we do press 2.0, we also do often three sets of five. A few years ago, Michael Wolf, one of our coaches at BLOC, came along and said, man, it takes a long time to do five reps, all 2.0, we're taking the breath at the bottom. And he said, I've realized that you can do more weight if you do the first rep with a press 2.0, hips throw, but then after the first rep, you breathe out, breathe in, and then you just bring the bar down and right back up. And you don't pause at the bottom. After rep one, you pause at the top. And we call that, I don't know, I think Michael Wolf's fans, he's got a lot of fans. I don't know, he's been mentioned on the Joe Rogan podcast. He called it the Press 1.5, or his fans did. I don't know, one of the two. So this is what the Press 1.5 looks like. So we actually go Press 1.0 first, Press 2.0 second, Press 1.5 third. We didn't invent this stuff. This is just what we do. So you're still gonna do a Press 2.0 for the first rep. Big breath. Hips, throw, hold, shrug, breathe out, breathe in, down and up. Good. Now this time as you bring it down, I actually want you to push your hips forward as you come down and fire up. There we go, good. A little more, hips forward. Good, one more. Excellent, and that's a press 1.5. That was the preamble to the actual video. That was our intro. Now let's talk about the actual classic press or the Olympic press. And I started to look at videos of guys from the 60s and 70s when presses were like the absolute highest. There are actually three men who have pressed 500 pounds or more in actual competition. And they all did it in the kind of late 60s to early 70s. By 1972, that all was kind of over. They got, it, got rid of it in the Olympics. But I started to look at like, what is different about their press 
compared to the way we're teaching the press. And what I noticed was that for everybody that had a giant hip movement, but the hip movement was slower, for everybody the bar was touching their shoulders or at worst was resting on their clavicle. So there was no space between the barbell and their shoulders, right? So that was gonna make the grip have to change based on how long your forearms are because we've gotta be able to get the bar on your shoulders. So number one is contact of the bar on your shoulders. And then step two is a big giant hip throw where they would throw the bar as hard as they could. And then step three was a layback. So what they would do is they would use this giant hip throw to throw the bar and they would get throw it as high as they could. And when they got it as high as they could, they would start laying back and as they laid back, their elbows would get straight and then boom, they'd come up and they would press tons more weight. So often minor portions of this lift will kind of naturally occur with our good lifters, our strong lifters who do the press 2.0. So they'll get a bigger and bigger hip throw and they'll kind of naturally start doing a, a layback. What I'm gonna do is make sure we put all of them together. So I want the bar to touch your shoulders or clavicle. I'll kind of play with that with how long your forearms are. Make sure you do a big hip movement, but I now want the hip movement to be slow and deliberate. So rather than a bouncy hip where I go hip throw, I'm gonna reach forward, hips, 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 stretch, 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 wham, right? That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna throw it and I'm gonna start to lay back. Now, this is an empty bar, so it's not that heavy. So we may have to load some weight on as we go, but I'm gonna try to do a layback with you since you're teaching from the very beginning with just the empty bar and your layback will probably get better as we get more weight on the bar. Probably, so we'll see. So for the Olympic press, because I need the bar to rest on your shoulders, clavicle, like actually be in contact with your torso, you're gonna widen your grip just a tiny bit. So probably an inch wider than you normally take it. You're still gonna carry the bar low in your palm. Elbows are still gonna be forward. Wrists are gonna be as straight as they can be while maintaining contact, just like that. Elbows up just a little bit. That'll lift your delts, elbows up, straighter wrist. Good, stand up tall, just like that, walk back. Now, bar's in contact, so I have what I need. Now you're gonna push your hips forward as far as you can and let the bar sink, 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 and then uncurl and throw. Good, that's better, back down. Let's do it again, elbows forward, push forward, and then uncurl and throw. No, nope, that was all upper body throw. Let your hips throw the weight. Don't even worry about your upper body, just see how much your hips can throw it. Just make your hips throw. Okay, not bad, a little bit more. So think about this, stretch, and then you're gonna just stand up as tall as you can. Stretch first and get short, now get as tall as you can. Get tall first, one more time. You can do it, I know you're getting tired. Straight wrists, don't worry about pressing, just get tall fast, tall, okay, that's fine. Now rack it, that's fine. Yep, in contact, that looks great. Just stand up as fast as you can. Okay, that's better. Now, don't even worry about pressing it. Hold, don't even press it this first time. Just see how fast you can stand up with it. Stand up, good, just like that. Now do the same thing and let the bar jump off your shoulders and then press. That's fine, no, it's good, it's good. Now, that'll, that'll tighten itself up, do it again. Hips forward and then throw, good, better. One more and then rest again. Okay, it's fine, rest. So while this lift in the end is gonna be very explosive, while you learn it, it's okay to be slow. It's not a big deal. The goal here is to break this movement up into two separate movements. The first is the slow hip throw. So lean forward, lean forward, lean forward, and let your hips throw the weight. And then throw it to about your top of your head. And when it gets to the top of your head, whether you feel like you need to or not, I want you to start laying back to finish it. So just lean back as far as you can, and let's see what it looks like. So hips first, lean back second. Be patient. Elbows up more. Good, yep. Nice slow hips forward. Throw with hips, lean back, lean back, lean back more. So lean back at the forehead. So what you did was you threw it immediately lean back. I want you to throw the bar as high as you can with your hips and then actually almost make the bar stop and lean back while the bar is holding in the same spot and see if you can get your elbows to get straighter and straighter as you lay back. Stop it, lay back, lay back. Okay, there, now back down, let's do it again. One more time. 
Big hips this time. Throw your hips forward. Big throw. <laughs> That's all over body. Boom. <laughs> Big hips forward. Throw. Lay back. Finish. Okay, that's not bad. Do it again. Hips forward harder. Stand up tall. That's fine. Like you broke it up. I don't mind doing that. That's fine. Do it one more time. Last one. Throw. <laughs> it didn't come off your chest. Okay. Okay, so we walked you through the strict press, which you did great. We walked you through the press 2.0, which you did great. We walked through press 1.5 which you did great. And that's sort of about where you are right now. <laughs> so on the Olympic press, you've never done it. It takes some practice. We walk through what the teaching progression looks like for that Olympic press. And we'll show you here at the end of the video, some of our more advanced lifters who've been doing it for a while, what it looks like after you've practiced it with the big hip throw and the big layback to finish that lift. That's the progression of the press. We start with a basic strict press. We move to a press 2.0 with the hips. We move to a press 1.5 where we do the hips on the first rep. And then after that, we pause at the top, take a breath at the top, down and back up. Mm -hmm. And then we start to add slow big hips, connect the bar to the torso, and then throw and then lay back to finish the lift. And that's the classic press or the Olympic press that we've seen all the Olympic lifters do in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. For more great videos, probably of me wearing this exact same gray Under Armour shirt because I own 15 of them and I'm becoming like Steve Jobs and wear the same shirt every day on every video. But also to learn how to press, you can click the press playlist right up there. <laughs>